going on guys welcome back to my channel it's conservancy here uh thank you guys for all the love and all the support in the vi previous videos today we have a little bit of a different video i'm gonna be upgrading my system for you guys um i'm moving off of the b450 platform for amd i'm moving up to b550 with a new ryzen processor my processor is right currently my processor is the ryzen 5 3600 and i'm moving up to the ryzen 7 3800x i've done a couple of upgrades to my pc already like my cooler my cpu cooler the old amd um stock cooler wasn't working and i also updated my ram and i had 16 gigs when i first started now i have 32 gigs to help me with editing so we are also going to be doing a little bit of a surprise later on it's going to be something else this is arguably the best biggest upgrade but i have something else for my upgrade as you guys can see we also have a very big quality upgrade in terms of my um my, my video and that's all thanks to kobe as i'll have his stuff all up on the screen and also in the description down below if you guys go ahead and follow him and if you want any work done with cameras and video edit videos and um photos maybe you've been married maybe you have had events and stuff you want somebody to take some pictures and stuff for you you can go ahead and up and see if you guys can get your quality done but without further ado we're gonna hop right into it thank you guys for all the support and everything and i appreciate everything let's go when we um first thing before we do anything you guys need to turn off the computer completely and do a power cycle that's done by flicking the power button on the the um the power supply once off well turn it off then turn it back on and turn it back off again that's to drain the system of any electricity and that's based on research i'm not an expert at this this is what i've learned from youtube and this is what i've been working with my pc for a better part of a year and some and that's what i've been learning so that's kind of what i'm gonna pass on to you so don't take my stuff and just don't only just take my word for it go and watch other tech youtubers people that do this for a living go ahead and watch those as well but this is just my experience as somebody who knows a little bit about what i'm doing and stuff like that so i'm just wiping this off there's a lot of dust around and i'm gonna wipe this off i'm gonna take my side panel off by the way this case is gonna be the nzxt h10 um and it's a really really good case however it, it's known for being sort of a hot box and it's pretty pretty hot so we're gonna just get that out of here as well as the screw i have my cousin here helping me he's gonna be in a video from from time to time so y'all can see that um next product i'm gonna use for mostly cleaning out will be this uh data vac electric duster this is for uh, from what i've seen this is from um this is for like computer systems and every kind of you know electronics and stuff that you need to clean out with this obviously you want to use water with a with a computer system you will just damage your system so this is what i'm going to be using to dust out a lot of my stuff i'm also going to be using this however is recommended use a microfiber cloth i don't have one so i'll just use this old piece of clothing i'm just gonna just take some of the dust out of these these grooves and stuff while i'm here do everything a little systematically so just taking these out first thing we're going to take out we're going to take out the graphics card um i'm going to first plug everything out right here these uh this eight pin and six pin connector this is my graphics card my graphics card is the um nvidia rts 2070 super hopefully i can get a new one in a couple of months but you know how gpu shortages are and um how crazy it's been so i'm gonna start taking this panel back here off um and let's get my screwdriver i'm gonna start plugging this out or unscrewing stuff this thing has a little bit of threading issues so i might not get some of the screws out immediately and i might have to put a little bit more force on them to get them out completely so after you've done unscrewed all of the gpu and all the parts and everything you're gonna see this little clip here this thing is so dusty you can see this little clip here at the end of the graphics card right here you just press down on that and it should start releasing and then from there you just slide it out try not to give it too much of a wiggle but and try not to pull it too hard just let it come straight out and that's my graphics card right here you're gonna just wipe this wipe off the back plate a little bit 
and then I'm gonna use my duster just to clean out the inside. I'm not an expert, so I will not risk taking off these screws and going into my GPU and clean it out from there. That's for somebody else. I can recommend a few channels for you guys to go ahead and watch. These are the channels that I've been watching, but I am not financially stable enough to go ahead and start picking down my GPU and then I mess something up and then I have to pay for it. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use this to spray out. That might just be the I'm there might just be the extent of how much I'm gonna be cleaning this out I won't mess with my PCB or anything like that so we're gonna just rest the graphics card around here somewhere that should be it the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flick this over I'm gonna take off my back plate do not speak about my cable management my cable management is a little bit bad but it's not gonna be too serious here. So we're gonna take this off. Y'all see how how dusty that thing is. And that's the NZST dust filtration system. It's still good as long as it keeps the dust out of my system. So I'm gonna just, and that's so many dust particles right there. But I'm just gonna spray this out afterwards and deal with that later. I don't want to have so much dust on my system afterwards. So that's a lot of the dust that's happened. My cable management isn't bad, it really isn't. So we just take, took that off. Um, next thing we're gonna do is that I'm gonna start getting some of these cables out of here and pushing them through to the back side of the PC. I don't need the cables to be getting in my way when I'm trying to get to the, the motherboard. After that, I'm gonna start taking out my my all-in-one liquid cooler so let's start getting all of these graphics cards cables out of here uh, these are the PCIe cables they're usually marked with uh, VGA or PCIe on the panel right here and I'm just gonna make sure I pull these out of here through my cable management grommets and all right, that's done. Next thing I'm gonna do, don't worry about those cables down there, I'm just gonna make sure the PC isn't resting on them. Next thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna start um, taking apart my all-in-one liquid cooler. Um, this is a uh, all-in-one liquid cooler from Be Quiet. It's gonna be the Port Pure Loop uh, 240, I believe it is. Um, it's a 240 millimeter um, radiator with two fans, two Be Quiet fans. So I'm gonna start taking this apart. I'm gonna start by unscrewing these screws here. If you're unsure about anything, guys, you gotta um, make sure that you read the manual. It's very important. These companies put a lot of time in documentation or you can watch a YouTube video. It's easy um, to watch a YouTube video on these different things. So we're gonna just unscrew this, make sure we take this out completely. And one thing I forgot to mention is that you have to plug the the plug out the the AIO from the connector. I plug my AIO from the connector right here, and it's usually named CPU fan um, on the motherboard. Now this is what my thermal paste looked like. That's what my my thermal sprite was on there, and we need to clean that out. So what I'm gonna do, I probably won't take this out completely. I might have to actually, because of how the the um, how much dust is in my system. So I'm gonna first of all start taking this out. So with NZST, we have this little bracket here that I can take out the entire fan system, fan setup, and everything with. So before we fully take it out, I'm gonna just start unplugging my fans plugging them out from here and then we're gonna completely take this out so let's make sure I plug that in there um, okay my cables are stuck so let's flick this back open like this and find our fan cables which are 
that's one and this is two let me take off this little um, wire thing and pull this out stop somewhere still plugged in there you go all right that is our radiator and fans out of the system right about here as you guys can see how dirty that is that is absolutely horrible it's not good so might as well just clean this now I didn't expect my radiator to be this bad, so I'm gonna completely clean this out. So let's take all of this apart. Right. Before I do that, I'm gonna clean the thermal paste off of this. What I'm gonna use is uh, paper towels and some surgical alcohol. Usually you would use surgical alcohol, well, sorry, you, usually you would use isopropyl alcohol, but I don't have any of that. So I'm going to use some surgical or rubbing alcohol to take the thermal compound off of my, um, my pump or my water block. So just use a little bit of alcohol and I'm going to just completely take the thermal paste off of it. Try to get it as clean as possible. You don't need any, um, mishaps or anything you don't want to mix thermal paste either i'm going back with the same company so it should be fine but we don't need any hard thermal paste on there so i'm gonna take this make sure we clean this off completely and that should be there So I just took everything off from here. And next I'm gonna just start unscrewing this radiator from this bracket. The way to do that, I'm gonna get it from the fans over here. Start unscrewing these. And when you're unscrewing these things, you want to do it from in a star pattern for even pressure all across of all across your system or the area, I guess I can say. Usually I will have this little bin where I will put all my um, screws and stuff in, but don't have that right now. So we'll just work with it. Take that off and then do this side here as well. Oh boy. So now we got the bracket off, we got the fans off. Y'all can see how dusty that is. We really need to clean out that entire thing. That radio is absolutely disgusting. So I'm gonna clean that out and I'll bring you guys back once I'm ready to start putting everything in. But that's gonna be the last for you guys are gonna see of this. Just put that across there. All right. All right, so here now we're gonna just continue um i already in the interest of time and camera battery life i decided to cut a couple stuff i already took out took out the fans i'm just going to show you where you where, show you guys where to unscrew the motherboard from the uh from a normal ats um case so i'm gonna just show you here real quick with my screwdriver so right about here there are nine different spots over here i'll probably have a graphic on screen showing you guys you're gonna just unscrew the motherboard from there. Make sure you plug out all the cables and everything. So here, I'm just gonna just 
try to get the thermal paste off of my processor as much as I can. I'm not reusing this processor yet, probably later down the line, but for night, right now, I'm just going to clean a lot of the thermal paste off of it. And then we're going to take the motherboard out. Once I take the motherboard out, I'm also going to take out the IO shield because the B550 um, F Gaming from ASUS is, has a backplate already on it. So I do not need to um, put a, have an IO shield there. Before I take the motherboard out, I'm going to just take the RAM out. That's taken by undoing these tabs here and then we're going to just pull each RAM stick out completely. So. That's one, two, three, and four. Normally, if I was taking out the processor, I would just have to take up this retention arm and take the processor out, but I'm not doing that. I'm leaving the, the processor in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna wipe my hand real quick and I'm gonna just hold the motherboard by its PCB or this heat sink and try to get it lift it up and out of the case and just like that we have an extracted motherboard um, before we get any further I'm just gonna shift the case out of the way I need the mouse pad the mouse pad and I'm gonna take this motherboard gonna take this motherboard and I'm gonna take my M.2 SSD out that is done by unscrewing this little screw here it's threading right and taking it out and all I have to do this is my storage device all I have to do is pull it right out let me just store this to make sure that I do not lose that and we're gonna just rest this on here. Now our motherboard is completely out. I'm gonna just put this in storage, put this in this little um, anti-static bag and put it into storage. Leave it in the, the process. Perfect. Perfect.